Hi, my name is Steve Apollo, and I work with facial animation in Vancouver, Canada. I have a parameterized facial animation system. Uh, with it, our goal is that we could have any face type, any behavior with any voice, with any output, and this way we can make uh, kind of very wide, very emotionally subtle uh, faces for games and films and agent worlds, uh, so we can get the dramatic subtlety that you could get in a movie. And I can demonstrate it now. So here's our facial animation system. Uh, as you can see, I could, uh, uh, it's 3D and I can move it around and change the lighting on it. Although the main thing is that it's, there's a set of parameters or genes uh, that I can control to change this. So I don't have to make a face from scratch. I can just grab, uh, in this case, the nose up and down and, and go from kind of a rat face to a, more of a stubby nose. Uh, so I have these controls. Some of them are low level like that. Some of them are higher level like uh, um, chin to eye where I could quickly kind of change the age. Um, so I could then make any face with just changing these. So for instance, all these faces were made by these simple uh, manipulations. So here is a, a female character. And here is more of a, a cartoon character. Or an old man. And I'll go back to the thug again. And I'll show you that while this is face types, and it's nice to move through face types, faces are about expression and emotion. So what we really want to do is work on uh, how it emotes, how it expresses. So we could do that with, uh, with a separate behavior. So the face knows a little bit about itself. It has a small mouth. It'll talk with a small mouth or talks more to the side of its face. But then we can give it different uh, behaviors. And then I can send data through it, and it should act like a face. One way to send data through it is with, uh, is with audio. So I'm going to use this mic hooked up to this laptop, and I'll just start that. So, la, that's me talking live through this phase. So I can control you know, it goes, and if I emphasize something, that changes the eyebrows. And of course, this is just, and it's not just lip sync, it's doing uh, uh, somewhat reasonable gesture movements. By the way, sound is only one way to do it. If I had a drummer, I could drum it. And I'm sure if I got up and danced, it would react to that too. So while, while, while voice to lip sync is one approach, you, it's really you can move to a number of them. So I could um, change this behavior from the default to a nervous and now I'm, now I'm talking a bit, a bit differently. So I can change the default, default to be, behavior to nervousness, and now uh, the neck is more rigid, it's blinking a lot more. So there's this notion of nervousness separate from the, uh, the different characters. So I'll go to one more, which is, um, I'll go to Alien. And now when I talk, I'm really, the character isn't really looking at you. It's got that funny, I've come to take over your planet look. So it's picking up all that through my voice. So this could be used uh, in, in, in animation, but it could also be used uh, as an avatar. So let's, let's try it like that, where I'm... Um, I'm getting a face. Uh, let's, let's get a different face here, so I'll get um, a cartoon character face. And with this face, as you see as I talk, it's got squash and strut, so you could put anything on here. Now I could pick this face and I could call home to my mom, let's say, if, and she's looking at Now this face, if you notice, is reacting to my voice, but talks out of the side of its mouth. And if I wanted to be mad, I can be talking in a mad kind of way. Or if I wanted to turn into Buzz Lightyear, I can do that. So it's still being, it's still talking, it's still my voice, it's still talking out of the side, it knows about itself, but it's got these controls that can fade away. So hopefully we can have a whole speech 
face synthesizer. Now I'm doing this with buttons, but in a game or avatar sense, you could set it up where it's under game control. So if you're playing a game and and your sergeant in, in a in a in a combat game is saying, Private, close that door and, and you don't want to go near that door, they're shooting, he's gonna get more and more mad. So at least he can get mad in such a way where typically in games they only have a few of them. But um, you know, they might have a little mad and uh, a lot mad. With this, we could have any level under program control. So again, the hope is that in, in the game world, that we'll get out of just shoot 'em ups and car chases and more into more dramatically subtle games that will open up to, to more women, older people, younger folks, and we could herald in a whole different type of games.